It is not the pivotal thing that we are doing today, but the thing that everybody's been waiting for. Which goes to explain why all of a sudden, half the faculty is interested in our obscure experiment to play. Thank you for coming and for your unbending support. Today, for the very first time, I'm going to allow Romeo to kiss Juliet. Have you got any chewing gum? No, no, where did it come? This Singapore, remember? Hello? Hey, I got this mini polo, man. <sighs> okay. At least my breath smells good now. Why oh, she hits the way I can. Benson, it's just acting. Take it easy. You know it's not, so don't try to make me feel better by saying it is. This is my perfect woman, the one I want to marry. And it always boils down to one or two kisses in front of so many people and a boyfriend. Take it easy. No pressure. It's just the play. This is my life we're talking about. What if our teeth clash and I break one of them? What if I get so excited and I bite their lips? If I feel you that just no don't do it. What? Just don't do it. If there's so many people watching and so many what ifs, it's gonna be embarrassing, right? Just don't do it. Just walk out. I'll support you. Yeah, right. I should just go out and do it. I know my lines by heart. Besides, she's not the first woman I've kissed. <laughs> really? Yeah. So who was the first one? Okay, I lied. Okay, here am I trying to convince myself into more confidence, but hey, thanks for being a friend, Leon. Let us start with Capulet talking to the bald at a party. Ready? Yep. Uncle, this is a Montague, our foe. A villain that's here that come is spiked to scorn or solemnity this night. How's my makeup? My lipstick okay? Audrey, you'll be fine, okay? But just don't kiss him for too long and then fall in love while kissing him in front of like a hundred people. Of course I won't. What do you think I am? Some kind of virgin? You, virgin? Of course not, but aren't you nervous? Just a little. I'll just have to focus on my sexy walk as I enter the stage and I'll be fine. Sexy walk? Yeah. Head tilted slightly back. Hips leading. Look down the nose. How do you do that? Well, you just have to watch closely and learn. I will withdraw, but this intrusion, not seemingly sweet, will convert to bitches gall. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle sin is this. My lips, to blushing pilgrims ready stand, to smooth that rough touch. A tender kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much. Which manly devotion shows in this? And have not saints lips and holy palmers too? Aye, pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayers. <laughs> but then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray, grant now, lest faith turn to despair. Do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. <laughs> then move not while my prayer's effect I take. Thus, from my lips, by thine, my sin is purged. Then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from my lips, O oh, trespass sweetly urge. Give me my sin again. Audrey. You're too stupid to know what love is. Too stupid. Are you alright, Fenton? I'm okay, Billy. Three days before opening night. How do you feel? Alright. Quite good. Nervous? A little. I mean, I played Juliet before in secondary school play. But this is completely different. It's experimental, it's got a band. <laughs> and Mr. Pillay, he's so bizarre. Yeah. And you? 
I don't know. Maybe on that night I will. But right now, I feel like I'm on the top of the world. And it just makes so much sense. Like I'm talking to you and everything just feels so right. See, I don't even start there anymore. Yeah, you're quite different from when I first met you. Really? Oh. I don't know. Different. A little geeky. Different. Geeky? No, not really geeky. I mean, I never thought I'd get along with a Chinese boy. All my close friends are either Asians or Eurasians. Wow. Why? I don't know. I never thought I would meet a Chinese boy who would share the same thoughts and ideas as I do about romance and Shakespeare. I always thought there are such squares into the math and the science. Well, I hope I can change your mind. Me too. You know what? It doesn't help that we're supposed to be sworn enemies for life. Yeah, this whole enemy thing is so ridiculous. It's like, I just can't put my finger to it. Me? What are we supposed to be fighting about anyways? I don't know. I mean, even my mother doesn't know. <laughs> I don't think my father knows either. It's so ridiculous that even when we go down to the stores, we have to speak in code. You too? Oh my god, I thought we were the only ones doing it. No, we've been doing it since I was born. <laughs> it, it's, it's like, stir in the mountain smith now. Uh, stuff the chicken with God's sweat and uh, cut 20 tigers' breath into the soup. Come on, mine is pass me the PL, stir it in the TF and boil for X minutes. Hey, at least yours is simpler. No? Mine is so complex. <laughs> What's the secret anyways? Do you know what? I've actually tasted your chicken rice before. And I've tasted yours too. What's the difference? I can't taste any difference. You know, this whole secret recipe is such a placebo. I mean, who's to know that we put margarine into our rice? And ours is just pandan leaves. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. My mother's gonna kill me. My father's never gonna let me use his car again. You know, you don't tell anybody, no one will know. Maybe we should let them know about the secret recipe. Are you crazy? My mother will kill and disown me. No, Fenton. Can't you see? This is a chance for us to stop this war once and for all. No more fighting, no more coats, no more competition, no more secrets. You know what? Yeah, right. Like, we can change things. You know, this is an excellent idea. You're such an amazing girl, Audrey. I love you. I mean, it's okay, Fenton. So, when do you think we should tell our parents about the secret? I think we should tell them after the play. What do you think? Yeah, right. We should just concentrate on the play. And after they see how well we work together, then we'll tell them. Are your parents going for the play? Yeah, the whole family. You? Yeah. I'm stressed, man. But I think we're ready for it. You think? So, any tips for my thing? No, I think you're fine. I like it this way. Really? Really. Nothing that I can improve on. Not too much, huh? That a cop up. The play is directing it. Come on up. It's gonna be different. It'll start about seven. I'm really getting very worried. Yeah, me too. My parents have never been to a play. Don't know whether they'll like it. I'm not even sure if my parents know what to wear. Where's my Uncle Mike? We're going to be late. Hello, Dawa. Hello, Dawa. Hello, Dawa. I've been to so many plays, all the same. All must dress up. Don't dress up, cannot go in. Yeah, right. This is an experimental play held in the car park. Ex ex experimental play, church play, community center play, all the same. All must dress up. Already told him what to wear. I heard that if you don't dress properly, you cannot go in. Hey, hey, look, what are you going Nowhere, branded goods. Yeah, branded designer. Nice or not? <laughs> nice. So, where you get one? Oh, from a warehouse sale. All branded goods. The sales girl said, ah, uh, this is the only one in Singapore. Collectors. Hey, do you know how much it cost the first time? Five thousand dollars. <laughs> so how much?